Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Dave Neal here, stand-up comedian, host of Bachelor Recap, a guy's review. This is my third and hopefully final spoiler video for the 2021 Bachelorette. Um, I'll be discussing who the Bachelorette will be and a couple other comments and then a very funny video from the uh, upcoming Bachelorette that I pulled up from before she was announced before she was in the whole circuit. So that'll be a ton of fun. I do want to let you guys know that I'm going to put up a couple fake Bachelorette um, uh, uh, photos right now. This is to throw people off. This is Demi here because a lot of times people don't want to watch a video, but um, if they look at a video on YouTube, it'll hover over the video of who it is. And I've been told that we've accidentally spoiled uh, who this is to a few people. So just so you know, not Demi from The Bachelorette or from The Bachelor. The next Bachelorette is not Demi Moore. The next Bachelorette is not Demi Lovato, and the next Bachelorette is not Demi Glaze. That is not who the next Bachelorette is. I'm about to tell you who the next Bachelorette is, but please do me a favor and hit the like button. I would appreciate that. It helps the YouTube algorithm. The next Bachelorette, are you guys ready? This is uh, reported by Reality Steve, and here's what happened, okay? Reality Steve on Saturday night reported that the next Bachelorette was announced at the Women Tell All ceremony, which they um, shot and filmed, but they haven't aired yet. Well, uh, Mari had subtweeted that or responded, I don't know how the, what the difference is, saying false. So the question was, is it not this Bachelorette, or was some of the information false? So let's get into it. This upcoming season, the Bachelorette is going to be Katie. Katie Thurston, the uh, with the vibrating cactus, as they put it. She will be the next Bachelorette. And uh, here is Reality Steve's uh, comment. I think this is from last night. He said, in regards to this tweet from Saturday night, it's wrong, dot, 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 and right. Katie was not announced as Bachette at Women Tell All. Message I got was, it's Katie, and it came out at WTA. I thought that meant it happened there. But I've been told it's confirmed it's Katie, and she'll be named this week. Now, a lot of people said, why are you going to name the Bachelorette so soon? There's still like 10 contestants left on The Bachelor. Well, because of the pandemic, there's a very shortened um, window between seasons. So they need this Bachelorette to literally start filming. She's kind of got to, you know, she's got to go film soon. So she's busy. So anyway, uh, this was the prediction. Uh, there, he's holding on to this prediction. I feel like this is the lamest like election results. Like we're calling it for Georgia. Yep, it's Katie Thurston, Washington. All right, so um, this is what was announced here. Let's see uh, from Variety. This said the Bachelorette, ABC eyeing Katie Thurston as the next leading lady. Now, some people said that maybe... Um, Maybe they wanted to leak the next Bachelorette just to see what people thought. And of course, people responded bigly. They love Katie as the next Bachelorette. As I've mentioned in my previous videos, she's authentic. She stands up to bullying. She sets um, healthy boundaries when it comes to the, uh, the men and women around her. Like she knows what she wants. And, um, you know, she's also just sassy. She's great. She has the funny meme that we love. Thank you for your feedback. I mean, come on. This is brilliant stuff, folks. Brilliant stuff. So um, I'm going to play a video from her earlier if you want to really get um, a hint at what her humor uh, is like. But let's, uh, let's, let's read a little bit of what they said over here. Um, uh, they said, The network and studio rarely comment on casting rumors circulating around the Bachelor franchise. While a well-placed source says Thurston being named the Bachelorette is a sure thing. That's reality. Steve, casting decisions can always change up until the last moment, so nothing is ever certain in Bachelor Nation. This is what sucks, you know? Like, they basically have a few different women at their beck and call. Like, you know, have your passport ready. We're getting ready to film. As they say here, a few years back, contestant Kayla Quinn was essentially set as the Bachelorette, with ABC even rolling cameras in her hometown. But the network pulled a last-minute switch ultimately selecting Jojo, the Ho-Ho Fletcher. Um, in other words, anything can happen. So um, the past weekend, Bachelor, uh, Bachelor Guru Reality Steve first tweeted that Thurston was announced as a new Bachelorette during the taping of the WTA episode. Two insiders close to production tell Variety that no announcement regarding the Bachelorette was actually filmed last week. Um, she's a fan favorite. And anyway, so they've doubled down and said no, no announcement's been made, but it's going to be her. So it could change, but... Um, you know, a lot of times they do these soft leaks, and then if any rumors come out about somebody, if any, you know, if any other info that, that they need to know comes out, maybe that'll change their mind. But what's happened is people just love Katie. They love that she showed up as someone who's sex positive, anti-bullying, says all the right things, 30, thrift shops. She doesn't, she's not raised from money. You know what I mean? So, um, uh, so anyway, this is a video that she posted August 20th, August 1st, 2020, before she was even in the Bachelor 
franchise. Now, maybe, she, you know, because I believe they didn't start even filming Bachelor until a few months after this, but this is a five-minute clip, so if you want to stick around, I'm going to play this story, and then we'll end it from there, but it is so funny. So, so funny. There's also, if you don't mind just bearing with me for a second, I want to play some more Katie because a lot of people go, oh, I don't know what it is about her. And I'm like, have you not been watching? She's really funny. She's um, Katie Thurston. Let's, uh, her name's like Vent with Katie or something. There it is. So she posts these really funny, you know, reels. And, you know, humor is just one of those things. It's very specific. It's very interesting. You know, here's here's her first reel she posted before she be, got even on The Bachelor. She uh, she kind of went viral on TikTok. Did everyone else do this when they were a kid? Or is this just like a she's doing this. Thing? She's putting ramen into a ramen I noodle. Done it ages. And I'm excited. And she's eating it. What are you doing? If you don't love somebody like that, like there, there's a reason I'm talking over her. I don't want the uh, sound to get tripped. Uh, the licensing got to get monetized. Hit the like button. But there's a reason why she is so special. She's just uniquely different. She looks like the girl from next door, but she's also just got this sassiness to her. Um, she's cute. Anyway, I digress. What else can I say about her? Let's play this video. Enjoy it. If you don't like, if if you want a bachelorette who's, um, uh, I'm a debutante. I know how to talk. I've been in, I've been in, you know, uh, pageants and uh, I want world peace. It ain't Katie. She's the real deal, folks. This is what you get. This is why a lot of women, I I would imagine, are attracted to a speak your truth type of contestant like Katie because she's not afraid to do something that's very important when it comes to being relatable. She's not afraid to make herself look stupid. I'm going to share it with you guys right now. So I gained a bunch of new friends tonight. Hello, TikTok fam. And I thought it was a great opportunity to let you guys know a little bit more about me uh, in the most embarrassing way. So heads up, it'll probably be a part one. A couple two, swears three, here. Uh, if you don't want swears, just get out of this. Good. Um, but I will release them back to back to back. So hang with me uh, if you want to hear about how I shit myself <laughs> at work. So it started off two years ago when I did keto. Keto was a big thing. And I decided to get coffee at three in the afternoon. Oh, boy. Mm, yum. Anyway, as we all know, with iced coffee, it just goes right fucking through you. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm at work and the radio isn't on and it's super quiet and the bathroom's small and I'm pretty sure you could hear a fucking mouse fart in there. So I'm trying to play with the Bluetooth radio to get my phone to play music so I can go poop in peace without my coworkers hearing the splash of my shit. And I can't get it to work. And I'm panicking because the second I stood up, my asshole was like, yes, it is time. I was like, no, please just wait until I can play some music. So anyway, I tell my coworker, hey, I need you to play some music. She's like, why? And I'm like, because I need to shit. And I just don't want you to hear it's me. It's like a Spotify. We're close like that. So anyway, as I walk to the bathroom, I set my phone in my office because I'm wearing a dress. I have nowhere to store my phone while going. And I don't want to be obvious and I'm about to shit and be on my phone. And I'm holding my hand behind my ass, which I did not think this was going to help. But really, this was a life-saving decision. And as I'm awkwardly waddling to the bathroom, I fart. Or so I think I do. Oh, no. And it's a fart that is like... Like the smallest fart, maybe, maybe a shark, <laughs> but let me tell you, I went to the bathroom and I pulled down my underwear no. and inside my thong, might I add, was a hammock oh. full of shit. No. I'm talking refried beans, shit, baby diaper, Katie, shit. no. Okay. Did I tell you I was wearing a dress and a thong? Katie, no. My first thought was. I just shit on the floor at work. So I'm sitting there with this fucking hammock full of shit. Like, what do I do? What do I do? This is, I don't even have a phone to call for help. I'm in the bathroom with shit in my underwear. So I take my underwear off. Those are garbage. No point saving yeah, that. Yeah, gone. In the process of doing that, my high heels, because again, I was wearing a dress, get stuck on the string of Classy. my underwear and flick the shit on the wall. And I'm just like, oh, what do I do? <laughs> All I can do is move forward and clean up the wall as I'm sitting there, clean up all the creases in my body as I'm sitting there. And I think, okay, 
it's time for me to stand up. No. So I stand up. No. And I, my dress comes back down. No. And guess what? No. There's shit on my dress, oh. too. You know why? Because I held the dress up against my asshole, creating this slope for the shit to come into the front of my thong. No. But again, I have not verified that I did or did not shit in the lobby of the bank I work at. So I go up to the mirror. I flip up my dress to see the damage. And let me tell you, there was damage. There was damage. I'm going to gag just telling this story. We're That's gagging. I can't even. Oh. Oh my god. All right. You got it, Katie. So I lift up my dress. I see more shit. I I have to scrape it off no, with a paper towel. Throw that away. I don't even know if I can tell the rest of the story. Oh That's my, not I'm the bad part. Guys. And then, you know, paper towel, soap. Like, I don't know how well of a shower I can take in this public restroom. Again, all in the meantime, I have no phone or way to communicate to my coworker. I don't even know how long I've been in the bathroom at this point. I'm Hours. just praying no customers come in because, again, I'm pretty sure I just shit down the hallway coming to the bathroom and didn't know it because based on what I saw, <laughs> it's impossible that that didn't happen. So I open the door, I peek out, and I go, Elise? She's like, yeah? I'm like laughing and crying because i don't know how to say this and i look at her and i go i shit, shit myself, myself. <laughs> shit so myself. she tries to come and approach me to comfort me but i'm like no 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 stay back i'm stay pretty away. sure i smell like a fucking porta potty i said all i want to do is come out and make sure i didn't shit on the floor and then figure out what the hell i'm supposed to do next so i come out i look down the hallway it's a miracle I didn't shit on the floor. Yay. I shit all over myself. So I just want to put it out there. If you've shit yourself. We all have. So have I. Ah! So I That's can. amazing. And you know what? What else can you say about that? That's your next bachelorette. I'm not saying this with shame. This is on her story. Own it, lady. Own it. We all make mistakes. And for that, I'd just like to say thank you for your feedback. You guys have a good one. Leave a comment. Thank you guys for sticking around on that one. How funny was that? Bye, guys.